All right. Dang, we're here back on the set. <laughs> so we got uh, an opportunity to shoot again uh, with the guys up here on the set. Chad, JT, Marty, hanging out with them for a little bit. Talk a little bit about yesterday and what went down. Hey, right now, you got Mark and DC out there on the water. Let me check score tracker real quick here because I have not checked it in a little while. It's sort of good to always check on your boys. Last I had looked, DC had caught a really good bag of them today so far. 18 pounds from what I've seen. Now that was a while back. Iconelli is leading right now. DC is in eighth place. So really good. He's probably locked himself in. He's at 57 pounds total. Really good for him. He's probably locked in. Mark's in 13th. So Mark has made his little comeback. That's a huge deal. He's got a total of 49 pounds. So I think for him to be safe, he's got to catch a few more fish. But right now the cut line is 40 pounds, two ounces. So Mark's nine pounds up on the cut line, which is great. Man, it's a good feel. Good deal. Good deal. All right, everybody, we're done with that. Now we got some tackle we're gonna do. We got a call here at noon. It's eleven. We'll figure it out. All right, everybody. That's actually a pretty sweet camera. Thing, no, I need to give me a vlog. You know? Why the heck you got a little fur patch on the top of it? All right, guys. Group A ended today. And I got to congratulate my boy, MDJ, on making it through. Also, DC did a hell of a job. DC too. Killed it. But but the real story of the week, you know, it's, it's good to make Red Crescent all for, for me and DC. We were pretty much locked in from the get-go. But Mark and, and Adrian are battling their way to try to make Red Crest. Right now, basically looking at the standings, they were on their outside looking in. They, Mark was, uh, I think, 35th, like seven or eight points out. Adrian was just like a few points out. So there's a lot that rides on the next couple of days. Uh, for me, obviously, I want to go out there and try to win, but I'm obviously pulling for my guys. And, you know, I'm going to wish them the best. Obviously, Mark got it done today. Adrian's got to go out there. He's sitting pretty good. I think you're at, what, 11? Love, yeah. So he's 11. So I think I uh, somehow catch 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Of what, what is what he's thinking? What do you have total right now? Though? And it just rained. He already got 30 pounds. <laughs> how much you got? He got 30 already. He got 31 pounds. So he's got 31 pounds. So if you catch 20 pounds, you feel like you're good. Probably. Yeah, I think you're good. So today the weights dropped a, a, a substantial amount for the cut weight. But some guys, like myself and others, caught them a lot better too. So it's you know it's got to balance it out. Yeah, a lot of flip flop. Oh, I, and you guys' as a group, I, I, I think. 50 is a is a guarantee because that's doubling. If you reach 50 pounds, Adrian, you should be safe. You should, oh, yeah, you should be guaranteed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Oh, we thought. Yeah, you were yeah I thought you were talking about guarantees that take 50. I was like, oh, oh, oh. you're like, no, you're guaranteed. No. It's gonna take at least 50. Oh my gosh, thank you. Hey, for you folks watching this, this is stressful. <laughs> Y'all don't it. realize how stressful this is, man. It, it, it really is. I mean, oh. for the boys, hey, I, I'm, I'm thankful I ain't got to be in that position, but these two right here, yeah, and, and then what's, and what's crazy about this is, we just looked at the standings, and, and literally there's like eight people that are battling for like three spots, and, you know, they're just really close. I mean, it's all going to come down to the knockout round. And they're all hammers. And they are. They're all hammers. And it's all going to come down to the knockout round. But Mark's did his job, he got in, Adrian's got tomorrow, and then it comes down to Saturday. Tomorrow we gotta go out there and just have a good time. I might even go catch a few drums. Maybe. <laughs> catch some walleye, bro. Yeah, I know, hey, walleye, we got a fish man. fry we gotta get doing. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, tomorrow night we're having a fish fry. We've been keeping walleye yep. and rock bass. I'm gonna fillet them all up tomorrow. I brought my fish fryer and the whole nine. We finna let them swim. Let but right now, yes, we're heading to this thing, That's Georgia cool. Steakhouse. Now Mark had heard from several people that it was pretty good. So and then I did a, I did and a it review. just so happens we always do an over under bet always. Yeah, that's all you gotta do. It just so happens we're going to a steakhouse <laughs> when he wins the over under. <laughs> And hey, I, and the deal is he, I gotta pay for dinner. He's gotta pay for dinner. Hey, this place Ma in Wisconsin. But I, I, was, I, I bought, bought dinner last night. The whole state, right? Hey, the whole day <laughs> state, bro. This is gonna be hundred bucks. <laughs> Guys, 
are back on the road. <laughs> the bumpiest road of all time. Oh, man. Anyway, so had a, had a dinner at uh, George's Steakhouse. George, nice guy ever. Good dude. Green Bay's Factors fan. Nice guy. Well, I'm going to give you a rating, George, for your steak. George, I'm going to be straight with you. It was about a about a 4.5 so maybe 4.8 we cooked the right way but it was just like okay dc cooked one cooked one pretty dang good almost a little bit better so i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna use it anymore everything else the service was awesome all that stuff was great people were great that's how it was anyway long story short we are going to go and you know it's bouncing everywhere that's how bouncy it is i'm trying to i'm trying to make this thing work <laughs> it's so crazy i've never in my life been on a more bumpier road ever anyway so today is the elimination round we are set to where like i think the projected cut weight is around what we got i think we need to catch about 10 pounds but obviously we want to win but i'm looking for my boy adrian Amina to do well hope he can catch him we had a big rain last night so that's gonna probably muddy up the water in some of the areas you know that are fed by creeks and streams and rivers so that's gotta play into your mind and into my mind anyway i'm definitely thinking about that um, to save more main lake more than likely so that is the plan go hop a jig around throw that rattle the net around let's have some fun oh the wind's definitely blowing won't be a tad bit bumpy out there yeah i think it'll be a little bumpy What about it, buddy? Good, all right. We got a little lot in the lake this morning. I'll good. locate your fish for you and bring a stat and everything. That's fine. Just, oh, you're fine. Enjoy we'll just, your we'll looks nice and calm right now but out there about a mile and a half out there was a big storm that blew from the south and we are on the very north tip of Lake Winnebago. Now Winnebago is 30 miles long so it had time to build all the way from the south end all the way up here. There's probably like I'm gonna say three to four footers. Um, we had a weather delay this morning which is more so to do with lightning. Um, rain doesn't dictate that as nearly as much. It can rain as hard as it wanted to or it's still gonna go because it's not a safety issue as much but lightning that is another story and so obviously appreciate the guys here at major league fishing and the officials taking care of us as a group of anglers and really uh that's something that's really important we all want to go back home to our families but ultimately that right there is big white cap it could be four footers they say they get five and sixes but i don't believe it's that big i think they're four footers which four footers are big and uh that's not going to make things very easy to try to move around today you're going to have to, these a lot of these guys are you know really battling for the red crest points they're doing a lot of different things so it's gonna be a stressful day in a lot of ways but uh, we're just gonna go out there and try to have fun try to catch a few fish um secure our spot in that knockout round have a chance to try to fish on saturday and then potentially get to sunday so that is the plan um well, i don't know how soon we're gonna actually get out there because we're still sort of uh, taking some time but uh we'll let you know when we do you'll be there when we do officials who are at the mid lake dissipated that way it is going to be rough but this is forecasted to die down right now it's around 14 miles an hour and it has dissipated a little bit so use extreme caution going that way but it is forecasted to die down we're going to take off at 720 lines out at 345 any questions
Drop, 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 drop. All right. Back on the rocks with Rattle and Ned. Trying to see if we can't catch this one. I bumped it to a little bit heavier weight, which I probably need to go back to a 16th, but I went to an 8th to hop it around a little bit faster. But we'll see. I've caught a drum so far. He didn't need it, so he ticked it anyway, but they might even want like a vibrating jig today. Water clarity is a little bit dirtier. It's not bad though. We'll just have to see. It's gotta be a small man. Walleye. Well, whatever. You're coming in the dang boat. I'm gonna put you in the dang deal. Heck yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm kidding you. You done messed up, Mr. Walleye. <laughs> you done messed up. Be a small mouth. Oh, no. He's moving too fast. Yeah, I got one. He's mean. Gosh, mean, dude. You must, hey, you had your morning cup, morning cup of Joe. That's what you done had. Gosh, he's mean. Gosh, a nice one too, dude. Nice one. Caught a drum, a couple walleye, and then I hooked one of these suckers. Stop jumping, man, please. Oh, yeah, nice one. I just want to weigh you. Ah, oh, you sucker. Got your head up. Gosh. Come on, man. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> hey, first fish in the morning. Dang stud, little small mouth. Let's see what we got. Three pounds, three ounces. Yeah, that's a good one. Now, I done told you, Mr. Smallmouth, we got a special deal for you. Can y'all help me? Um, um, dang. Dang him. That's a dinger. Beautiful fish. Lake Winnebago smallmouth. We'll let him go. Of her thank you for biting got the got the bell out just because i had to get the bell out one time that was a dinger that was a dinger Whew. you aren't playing around i mean that one that one done gave me a gave me a little bit of a i mean he was fast that was a little speedster right there unreal i wonder if i gotta go back down i'm gonna go back down through that stretch i know Look at this. Caught the smallest fish today. I'm gonna say that's non-scorable. That's not a large mouth, so I could throw them back. All right. You son of a gun. Come on, man. There's only one small mouth on this bank this morning. Unbelievable. Dang, is there a school of them right there or what? That feels like a small amount. Yeah, that's a small amount. Large mouth. One pound, six ounces. Yes, sir. Mr. Large Mouth, thank you for biting. Walleye. Yeah. Walleye. Yeah. Get in here. You know what you are? Your dinner. A fish fry. Number two. Yeah. You don't messed up. You ready? One pound, 14 ounces. There you go. That's the large mouth. Chunky little northern large mouth. One pound, one ounce. Sir. One pound even. Might not bite the thing. 
Wrestling, fourth, 51 pounds, one ounce. Screw up on seven pounds. That's the thing is the dilemma is you just you don't want to really mess up too many guys that are trying to make the cut, everything else. So then you also can't be around a whole lot and you don't want to beat your brains in. <laughs> do you do you stay and you just hodgepodge around? Now, of course I want to win, but I'm not gonna beat up my official, my cameraman, myself, like just uh just to, to try to win this round I mean, look i'm gonna fish hard no doubt but i'm not going to go like crazy like it's the it's the it's the championship round or the knockout round will be tomorrow we'll we'll fish our butt off tomorrow just right now we're just i'm not saying taking it easy i'm just saying we're 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 looking out for the guys for the most part try to stay out of their way and and still be able to fish and, and try to catch catch enough to win tomorrow is it on the championship lake it's yeah. on different lakes Or a large amount. One pound, one ounce. That's a drum, gotta be. Drilled it. Uh uh. You done show clank that. Look at that big sucker right there. That's a pretty big one. <laughs> hey, that's fun, even though that's not what we're after. See you later, dude. Gosh, he cracked that thing. Why don't you do that like that, Bass? Come on. Water got a little more stain to it. I thought, well, heck, I'll pick up that vibrating jig. And first throw, Mr. Drum decided to go ahead and hit it. I could see there was a few bass. The water was cleaner down there. That other little, oh, I just had one. Might have been a drum, but I don't know. Hey, them drum. <whistles> so every once in a while, you gotta pick up that thing. Rattling Ned, pop him around, make sure there ain't a bass sitting there that missed your stuff. Sun's coming out, man. Come on. One pound, one ounce. There you go. Drum. You're fine, it's drum. One pound, two ounces. Yes, sir. And I literally had seen that off my electronics. See, there's a little rock cropping that came out. Not a big one, but uh, hey, I'll take it. Oh, yeah, that's what call that one. You got a thin I did. It don't matter. I said, well, I can't let them have it all, but I'll let you have this side. Two pounds, seven ounces. There you go. Dude, I was a hell of a walleye hole. Hell of a walleye hole. I caught, I caught six of them like, or like, I caught like four or five, it was every throw for a second. 20, Randy Howe, 40, oops. One pound, 14 ounces. There you go, that's a good chunk, man. Better, buddy. Well, you haven't had no penalties yet, so I know I'm not trying to keep that any. clean, okay? Try not All to. Right. One pound, six ounces. Okay. Another one. Baby ding. I had to leave the bridge. <laughs> Hi. Hi. 
30 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, inside, in two minutes. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy. <clears throat> One pound, twelve ounces. There you go. All right. So I got a, I got a penalty after the start of the start of the period, right? Okay. Basically, Correct. the start of the third. Correct. So now I can basically do whatever I need to do, right? I ain't got no trailer on. I got like half a trailer bitten off. This other goes doink. I'm like, unreal. <laughs> Y'all just nah. that. was pretty funny. Sitting it's there and I'm like, I'm like, dang, that sucker's swimming. I'm coming back. Yeah, I'm no, coming okay. back. I'm and I'm, and I'm down. sitting down to open this thing up and I pick up and I'm like, you gotta be freaking kidding me. This sucker going shh. I didn't have like, I had like one baby pincher on there and i was like man i better just go ahead and swap and get another trailer that drum stole half my claws and i said well heck i'll just go ahead and pitch it up there and i pick up and it's like Shh, whoosh. hey when it's your day it's your day Congratulations. Thanks. Group B elimination winner. Thanks. Right. Heck yeah. Always oh, feels good to get it done, that's for sure. Oh. I'm gonna say it's kids real quick. What about it guys? Nice job. Congrats. Appreciate y'all following me today. Thank oh. you. It was a pleasure. Shoot, I didn't catch many bass around y'all, but oh. shoot. Nice to meet y'all. Where y'all from? Uh, Illinois. Drove up, slept in the truck last night. Shut up! Yep. No way. Yep, just see you. Hello, boys. Yeah. Do you want to shake y'all's hands? Thank you very nice much. Thank you. One more time. One more time. Joey Bissing. Joey. Matt. Matt. Jackson. Jackson. Thank Pleasure you. Pleasure to meet much. you all. Absolutely. Thanks a lot for following me around. Oh, yeah. Thank boys, you. be good, all right? You drove up from Illinois and watched us. Yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed it as well. I told him I got a lemon on the sucker. Like, you get really? it? <laughs> Had a couple good days. Yeah, 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 hanging out with you. Oh man, good day. Caught a few nice ones. Uh, caught a lemon of walleye. Heck, <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. And then going on to the knockout round of Butamore and have an opportunity to, you know, advance on the championship round. So we live to fight another day. And you know, ultimately. Um, got a good opportunity to potentially make that happen, you know? I feel like that's a big deal, but uh, we're we'll at to break some rods up tonight. Congratulations to Edwin on winning Angler of the Year. Good job, dude. Heck of a season. Um, I know that was not easy to, to, to accomplish. I mean, you guys battled it out all year long, and Edwin was victorious, so congratulations to him. Also, Adrian just missed the cut, so my heart goes out to my boy. I know it was tough on him, but uh, he had a heck of a good season as well. And uh, Mark made it on, so we're gonna have to see if uh, DC, Mark, or I can somehow, some way, make it into that championship round tomorrow. Thank you. Let me go grab these seconds. God, the lemon full of suckers. <laughs> Come on, play punch. Bro, oh, that's a dang good one, bro. Hell yeah. Dude, we eating good. Cold? Dude, I got all kinds of stuff in there, Dude, bro. Dude, I need to probably keep them alive. Huh. Unbelievable. I didn't catch nothing but walleye and rock bass. Nothing. Gosh, what a frustrating day. Hey, we can eat good, though, I promise you. Egg today? No. Oh, no problem, <laughs> Geneva's pretty, Geneva's pretty good, isn't oh it? Oh my gosh, really lights on. Thank you so much.
so much. Hey, you're you're awesome. all good. Man. You're all Thank awesome. You. Take care. Thank you very much. Good luck. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Uh, uh, now, had the weather not sort of just uh, on television a couple weeks ago, becoming a Challenge Cup a champion, he got 55 scoreable bass, grand total for 84 pounds, 15 ounces, big one's going to go 303, he started in first, ended in first, I'd say he booked in the day, Mr. Jacob Wheeler! Man, oh, man. Seven win at Table Rock. You're, you're sort of setting yourself up for the potential of maybe being back to back and the first ever two time winner. I gotta tell you, it was one heck of a Friday for this man. He is our Phoenix Cup daily leader. Let's give it up for having done so much here with Major League Fishing for the Cup champion, the state champion, and winner. He's taking the Bobby Stone, Natalie Dillon, Rob Newell, going to be on the water. And it's a brand new body of water, so you don't want to miss anything. That's going to start at 9 30. They're going to recap on the first period, and then they're going to take you through eight. No problem. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you for showing up. 110%. Seriously. I'm going to go try to eat these walleye up and try to see how they taste. I think they're going to be pretty good. Mark knows what's up. All right. So that's the end of the elimination round. Got it done. Made sure to say hey to everybody. Huge shout out to all the people that came out. Man, it was great to have, uh, you know, a lot of these people in there. They're very proud of their fishery. They're very proud of the area. Beautiful area and, uh, you know, super hospitable, great people. But tomorrow, we got to get it done. Beautimore, it is. So I think I'm pretty much rigged up. Got some walleye in that live well that Mark's, you know, wanting to get cleaned. So we got to hit the road back to the quality inn and, uh, get our stuff together and chomp down on some walleye think about a game plan for tomorrow sound good to you sounds good to me <laughs> did you really just go walleye fishing <laughs> did he really <laughs> hey hey look my man just got up so much in this tournament in first place he said screw it we got to go catch dinner that's how jay wheels rolls i got him when you catch them so good you can go catch dinner you're doing pretty good i'm gonna fire this i'm gonna fire this we finna, we finna hey, he right there, day. that guy's pickle. I need some more. I need another yeah, thing. Big. Right. That's a damn big. <laughs> I'm so happy about this walleye. I'm so happy right now. Look, you know, we're out here on the road. We're out here eating at Burger King, McDonald's, McChickens, uh, bacon double cheeseburgers tonight. This is not Subway, but we're eating fresh. Fresh walleyes, baby. Walleye, rock bass. That's how we do it. Let the lamb provide. We're going back to the we're going back to the roots. Catch and clean, baby. That's how we roll around here. Catch and clean. <laughs> hey, we catch Mark clean. I, hey, I, I, hey, listen, I was off today. I ain't mad, bro. I'm a I'm a country city slicker, and so you know we've been catching rock bass and walleye all week. I bust out the fillet knife, knocked the sides off, got them cleaned up real nice. Brought my burner from the house. Got some oil. Got some Louisiana fish fry. We finna do it right. Damn, that's so good. All right, about to get this thing going. Simple, basic, just some oil. We're gonna load this up. This ain't nothing fancy, but just, just a little travel little travel pot. I use this at home too, though, but we're gonna fill this thing up with a little bit of grease on the tailgate of the tundra. Okay. Making it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, did it right. Oh, man. We did it right, man. I brought all those from the house, man. Sweet. And then we got another limit of walleye today. It's real good when you didn't have to clean them either. I'll catch them so you're going to talk. We weren't playing, man. I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud of you. I won't be messing around. Hey, I was literally fishing for walleye today. How you do that? No rod. You know, mix with a little zatarans. Nothing, nothing too fancy, but you know, the basics, it worked. No, you can't get too, it's, it's, it's a basic situation. Sitting over here, just hanging out, watching Mark cook. Hey, watch, watch Mr. Magic Man cook. Chef Boyardee. Hey, all I'm saying is I probably caught three-fourths of the fish. I'm, I'm, I'm the provider of these fish. I'm going to claim that. So, we're just hanging out, having a good time. we got Greg Vincent, 
great angler, very good fisherman. Had a great week this week as well. Invited the whole crew. I think Shaw might come out. Uh, Paul Elias, the OG legends, man. So we'll see. But uh, I'm gonna see what this this rock bass is talking about. Cause Mark said they're good. I'm gonna find out. We gonna find out real quick. That's rock bass. Mm -hmm, I know. That's walleye. Yeah. I tasted it. I know it was bass. Oh, they're both really good. Yeah, they are both really good. I like the rock bass. It's good. <laughs> a little sweeter. A little sweeter. Hey, that rock bass is sweet. That's good, ain't it? You like uh, frappy? Yeah. Hey, folks, just be turning them loose. <laughs> he said, folks, just be turning them loose. Boy, I saw that. Oh, look. Oh, good. Uh-huh. 